episode on HGTV Daytime. Imagine what you can do. Hi, I'm Maddie Monfort. Today, smart solutions for your aching back. Jeannie Ernst has exercises for building back strength. Hey, Jeannie. Hi, Maddie. And we're adding a dazzling decorative touch to your old glassware with artist Chris Mobley. Hey, Chris. Hi, Maddie. Plus, do you have problems with gluey mashed potatoes? Food expert Shirley Career shows us how to keep them hot and yummy. How are you? Great. All that in our smart solution of the day, getting to the root of a sweet problem. Welcome back to Smart Solutions. Do you have old, mismatched glass plates and bowls collecting dust in the basement? Well, why not turn them into artistic treasures? Artist Chris Mobley is ready to show us how. Hi, Chris. Hi, Maddie. And I'm going to show you what you made. I'm going to show everyone what you made. Take a look at these beautiful plates. Thank you. Wow, what are we seeing here? Well, actually, we're seeing some glass plates and bowls that I've collected over, like, the last six months or so from various thrift stores and discount stores for under a dollar. And you painted them in a, in a way that we're going to show you in just a little bit. But literally, it, it's easy because the plate itself has the has design. the printed design, exactly. So all you have to do is just follow the design, paint, and boom, it can look just like this. Anybody can do this. This is what's great about these kind of bowls. And the reason that anybody can do it is if you're not great at drawing, exactly. it's already it's done already for on, you. It's done right there. Let's show the type of plates. Like, for example, look at, look at this one here. This is the plate, so you can see the design right there. You can, you know, kind of make out exactly, exactly and that's what's what amazing. You like, you know, when I first went to a thrift store and I saw all these intricate designs that I thought, well, you really can't see those just in glass. So I started painting on the back side to kind of emphasize all the little detail uh -huh. in these bowls and stuff. Okay, well, so, you're going to take a step by step so that we can yes, do this we too, are. Let's which is do exciting. It. <clears throat> Let's talk about the paint we're going to use. Okay, we're going to start off with two basic kinds of paint. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to use water-based acrylic paint for the inside and for the detail, and then we're going to top it off with spray paint, which kind of seals it to the glass and kind of keeps it in place. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. So we're starting with a plate like this. That's right. See it? Like a sunflower design. And what do we do first? Okay. Here's your brush. Okay. Ooh, I am get to do it too. You get to do it too. And I'm going to slide this over and grab a plate. Now, take a little bit of the brown, and what we're going to do is fill in all of the cracks and crevices on the back of the sunflower. Just so, the crack, not, not all the way. Just not all the way, just the cracks and crevices. And it's really easy if you just kind of... Lightly, so you're lightly Lightly brushing it. that through, yeah. And I'll, show, I'll tell you why. Because once this dries, mm -hmm. And we get all the paint on there, all the way around. Okay. And you know, you want to get the centerpiece here too. Mm hmm. Then. You want to go all the way, the whole exactly, thing. Exactly, the whole thing. What's going to happen is it's going to dry and it's going to turn into like this matte finish right here. Okay. Okay. So interestingly, it, the, the paint stuck, went inside the crevice. The, the, the paint goes into the crevices and then it ends up like the matte finish. And what you do is you take your sandpaper and we'll just kind of just rub it like that and you'll see. After a little bit of elbow work, mm -hmm, right. <laughs> you'll turn it over and it fills in all the cracks and crevices like that. Look at that. So basically you have the first setting for your sunflower. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to give you this one and we're going to trade plates here. Okay. And you're going to take this one. Uh-huh. And we're going to go ahead and add the yellow petals. All right. So now, you still want to stay on the sunflower. You don't want to go onto the side here. Okay. And you're just going to paint right over the top of that brown. Now, it's important to let it sit for an hour because if it's not completely dry, then when you start putting the yellow you down, it's it gonna... mixes together, right? Exactly. And you just, it's going to pull the paint right off that glass. And you don't want that to happen. Now, you have two different size brushes here. Is, does it matter? See these two, how the different width? Not necessarily. No? I think the, the thicker brushes are great if you're just trying to cover a base, mm -hmm. but the smaller ones are great if you're trying to get right to the end of the petal. Okay. Okay. So just a thin one will do that. Exactly. Beautiful. Okay. And so once you get all the way around your flower and you let that dry for an hour, it's going to look like this. Look at that. Already it looks great. You don't yeah. even have to do anything more to it. Exactly. And that took, what, 10 minutes other mm -hmm. than the drying time. Right. So once that's dry and it's already set, it's been your hour, then you get some spray paint. And you know when you use spray paint, you want to make sure that you use a mask, goggles, you're in an open air environment because you mm -hmm. don't want to breathe the fumes. Right. And we're just going to spray paint the back side of the dish. So we're 
spray painting right on top of the flower. Now, why wouldn't you use this type of paint to cover the back of the dish? Well, because it doesn't adhere to the glass as well, and it would have a tendency to chip or scratch or just peel right off. So if you were to wash it? Exactly. Okay. It would just fall right off. All right. But see, spray paint, especially if you get outdoor spray paint, it's going to adhere to the glass and it's going to keep this nice piece of artwork that you've done on the plate permanently. And it'll look like that. How nice is that? How pretty. Now, what you can also do, after you use the green spray paint, is mm -hmm. you can add like another metallic color, like gold. So when you look at it, it's green on this side. Right. And it's gold on the other side. Ooh. And what's great about these, and you don't have to use them for food, you can put your change in there, you can put your jewelry in there, yes. you can put just about anything you want, or you can even hang it on the wall as a piece of artwork. That's cute. Now, how did you get this? Okay, you put the gold back here, but how did you get this look that kind of looks coppery? Well, that's like a copper rub. You can get that at any craft store. Uh -huh. It's like a metallic rub. And what I did is I just basically, after I got done with my sunflower. Mm -hmm. Before my, you put this. Before I put my outer coat on, uh -huh. is I rubbed it with my copper rub all the way around. And it kind of gave it this coppery effect. And then I, I took that. a cream colored spray paint mm -hmm. and spray painted the back. Nice. Gosh, you know what? It, it looks so detail-oriented and like so... Exactly. But that's the great thing about this. It's so easy to do. Anybody can fantastic. do this. fantastic. This is great. So everybody, you know what we're doing. We're going into the basement. We're getting all these old plates, especially ones that have designs on them. Exactly. But if you're a good painter, this is a good idea to do anyway because you mm -hmm. can draw and do whatever you want. Exactly. Good stuff, Chris. Thank you. All right. Later, the smart solution of the day, a cool fix for a classic salad. And up next, how stretching your hamstrings helps your back. This is really fun. Welcome back to Smart Solutions. I want to thank all my guests, Jeannie Ernst, Chris Mobley, and Shirley Career. And as we say goodbye, Cheryl has our Smart Solution of the Day. If your potato salad is too sweet, perhaps you've stored your potatoes too cold. When they get cold, their starch breaks apart into sugar. And this causes all sorts of problems. Your baked potatoes are no longer nice and fluffy. And if you try to fry them, they get really black too fast because of the sugar. Mm. But the good news is, leave them out at room temperature and nice warm too days and the sugar hooks back together to start. Isn't that amazing how they just do that? That's, yeah. that's wonderful. Thank you so much, Cheryl. Chris? Well, if you have a bowl or a plate that might have a chip or an abrasion on the side, you can always get a fine piece of sandpaper mm -hmm. and just smooth that out a little bit so you don't have to throw it away. You can keep it, paint it, do whatever you want with it. Right, and you don't have to worry about getting hurt or anyone getting a splinter or anything? Absolutely. Like Great. Thank you. Thank you. Jeannie? Well, if you have an aching back, especially while you're sleeping on your side at night, just put a small pillow between your legs, and this will put you back into neutral, and the ache will go away. So a pillow that size, or can you use a standard size? Yeah, you size? can use any pillow, any standard size pillow, but I like these little ones. You just put it between your legs and right. fall asleep with no pain. I did that when I was pregnant, and it did it help works. a lot. Thank yeah. you all so much, and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.